the collision avoidance functionality will benefit from two new additional tool axis tilting methods. The two new methods known as lead then lean and lean then lead will allow the tool to tilt in a secondary direction if a collision free position can't be found using the initial tilting method. These options are particularly useful where we have areas of a part where there is a sudden angle change where a single tilting direction will fail. Let's open a simple project and have a look at these two new tilting methods. The toolpath in question is a constant Z toolpath that has been limited to a single pass using the block. We have used a vertical tool axis and switched on collision avoidance to allow the tool to tilt if necessary to avoid collisions with the shank and the holder. The first tool path, which is currently active, has been created with a lean only tilting direction for collision avoidance. Let's attach the tool somewhere close to one of the corners. And we can see that the tool has successfully tilted over in a lean direction to avoid collision with the holder. Now if we look from above, you can see that the collision avoidance functionality cannot find a collision free position for the tool using the lean only method to allow the tool to go right into the corner. So the only option is for the colliding segments of toolpath to be removed and then machining will recommence when a suitable non-colliding situation can be found, found using the lean only method. So in this case the tool jumps across the corner and then continues on. And this same condition will occur wherever we have an internal corner because we're limited to a tilting method in one direction only. One option we could use to get around the problem is a, a tool axis through a curve. So in this second example we have a pattern which is to define a tool axis collision avoidance direction. If we look from above we can see the pattern highlighted on the screen and if we attach the tool shade the part again this time the tool can get all the way into the corner because we're constantly changing the collision avoidance angle to force the tool to tilt towards the curve Now on a simple cavity like the example, then creating the curve is quite straightforward. But sometimes when we're dealing with quite a complex part, it can be very difficult and time consuming to create a collision avoidance curve successfully. And we are limited to specifying only one curve to use in the collision avoidance, whereas in this example we would need to create two separate curves to successfully machine the part. The last toolpath we're going to look at is one of the new collision avoidance methods and that is lean then lead. This gives us the ideal tilting method in this situation as it allows us to set a lean tilting angle which is suitable for the majority of our toolpath but in the corners where lean will fail it will then revert 
to a lead tilting axis to allow the tool to get around the corner successfully without fragmenting the toolpath and introducing lifts. So this time if we attach the tool, we have the lean tilt as before and then if we spin the part round to look from the other direction, as the tool goes into the corner, the lead tilt comes into play to prevent any collisions but still allow the tool to navigate the corner successfully. And this process of using lean and then reverting to lead will occur at all the internal corners. So we're left with two complete toolpaths without any fragmentation.